Right, here we are with a um, CP1301 B&R. This one is powered up and flashing away. I've put two modules on the end there. They're flashing because they're not actually configured, so the PLC is not expecting to see them, so they were kind of waiting for something to happen. So first of all, uh, just to show you how to detach the module from the back plate of the um, machine in case you need to take it off. See these orange clips at the top? You push them back. One, two three for the main PLC, actually four for the main PLC, and then you've got two more there for the last two modules. They clamp the thing onto the DIN rail. So if you lift it up here, you can just take it off. You can see the things at the back there. Now, now if you actually want to replace a module, the, of course, first of all, the first thing you have to do is to turn it off. So I'm going to take the power off this machine now, you'll see it die. If I can get this plug out, that is, of course. There we go, right, no power on there. So if you imagine that these uh, terminals have wires on them, the first thing to do is to take the terminal block off. Little thing at the top there, push it down. Terminal block folds forward, and in fact, as you can see at the bottom there, you can lift it out. So it can be completely detached. If you've got wires hung on it, you can just sit it and it'll sit, just sit down there on the wires. So now the module itself is available. On the top of it we have a little triangular button there. So if you press that triangular button, you can then pull the module out of its housing. As you can kind of see, it tends to stick in at the bottom there. And there we go. So that's the module itself. Connectors on the end. And the housing bit is at the back. So if you're replacing a module, this is the bit that you will get in the box. And that's the bit that you need to slot back in. It does have some runners in the bottom, some grooves that you need to uh, get it in there. You can see the groove there. And that needs to fit inside the groove. Push it back, slot it in, and then get the connector with the wires and just flip it back in and that is how you actually replace a module if you need to actually try and make sure that the connection across the plc modules is all good and they're all properly inserted i'll show you in just a second right now these modules are slid into each other so i'm going to take this out of the way ethernet quite tight these things that's out of the way. Now these, the end of the PLC, the modules slide off and it's much easier to slide them on and off if you take the terminal block off. Let the terminal block drop first of all. So if you take that out there, this bit here comes off and if you force it forward you can see that they slide into each other. Now you can see along the side here we've got these metal parts here. They have to connect with the uh, corresponding slots here and here and that's what makes the whole connection across the side. Sometimes you can get a module that's attached at the top and kind of loose at the bottom because if you don't actually take the terminal block off this terminal block blocks this slide here where the two parts engage. So in order to put it in take the terminal block off, locate this, there are some guides there at the top and the bottom slide it on back in and that should be retained if you move it here it doesn't move move it here it doesn't move so that is your module removed and replaced just a glossary of terms here this is the terminal block itself that's the terminal block um, take it off here this is a thing, this is the module itself, which we looked at before, the module itself. And this thing at the bottom here, that we removed previously, this part here, is called the base module. That's a BM. Okay.